Hey, this is Felix. It's been more than three months since I unboxed and tried my Fruit Ear Zero Reds. It's time for a long-term review. After owning my pair for a few months, I haven't seen any damage or scratches to the resin plastic they use for the casing. So I think Fruit Ear deserves a thumbs up for that. Do you own a pair? Let me know how yours are holding up in the comment section down below. The cable continues to be fine for the price and definitely better than the Moondrop shoe. It hasn't become sticky or anything. However, on the ear hook part, I have seen a lot like a white powdery stuff on it just like the shoe. I am not sure if it is dust or something else. Moving on to the case, the case do collect scratches from my fingernails. The leather still seems fine overall. I am still not sure this will hold up for long. And I do not like the rubbery feeling it has. Enough about the durability and the builds of the reds. Let's talk about sound. I have grown to like the True Tier Zero Red more over time. I think it really is the best IEM you can buy under $100. Will it be better than the Hexa, Aria, Aria 2, Titan S, and others? Probably not. But one thing for sure is that I demo demoed a lot of IEMs into 2023. And overall, I am pretty satisfied with the Trudy Zero Reds. In my opinion, while there are better pairs over there, if you already own the Truth Here Zero Red, you aren't missing that much. The Truth Here Zero Reds perform well on test playlist number one. The bass and sound bass are welcome for a well-rounded listening experience across screen genres. Although, this may come as a double-edged double sword. The bass and sub bass can overpower other frequencies to the point of hazing up the tracks. Mid performance is quite good, as the separation between instruments are noticeable but not amazing. In my opinion, vocals, especially male vocals, feels a little recessed compared to other frequencies. I think this set works best if you have a library that are mostly filled with female vocals. The trebles can get a little fatiguing at times. The fatiguing trebles can be heard, especially in Aoyama Killer Story. Other tracks may also produce a fatiguing trebles. However, for me it is very fatiguing most of the time. Imaging can be a little bit clouded at in busier tracks and mid details can get lost in the mix. This hinders the performance on orchestral, hard rock, or metal tracks. The sound stage, depending on the tracks listen, can vary. Based on my experience, the sound stage is overall okay, neither bad nor good. In my almost five months of use, the Truth Air Zero Reds perform really well across medias. Movies, TV shows, games, videos, and music sounds excellent overall. Big well-made movies such as Oppenheimer 1917 and Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning sounds really good with the Truth Air Zero Reds, delivering a well-rounded, grand, and magnificent sound. Games such as Valorant performs well with the Truth Zero Reds. However, the lack of mic on the default configuration of Zero Reds made it slightly less appealing for competitive games where communication is needed. It is also worth noting that the not-so-good imaging also hinders the performance of Truth Zero Reds on game where our elevations and busy environments are at play. About the 10 ohms resistor, I haven't used it that much, as I do not think they are necessary. However, please do include things like this in the future, as it would be a good thing to give flexibility to the user. Comfort-wise, the Zero Reds feels a little bit uncomfortable after wearing them for a while. Around 3 hours of continuous listening, your ears can feel a little bit fatigued, as the pressure from the nozzle are quite hard and the stock tips aren't helping. Sound fatigue will also happen if you listen with higher volumes. It is also not recommended to listen to such loud things as it might damage your hearing. Overall, the Strutier Zero Reds offers an outstanding value for just $55. The tuning is well done. You can listen to a lot of genres and most likely be satisfied with them. Gaming performance is questionable. Watching movies and listening to live performance are pretty immersive with this pair. Overall, a pretty fun and correct IMS to own and listen to. That is all for my review, thank you for watching.